Hey guys, Coach Sterling here, fitness coach to entrepreneurs and founder of the Peak Performance Blueprint. So I wanted to take a second today as I just like read in detail about the news that happened in Orlando with the shooting. Um, I actually just moved to California from Orlando a couple years ago, so I know exactly the location where it happened, um, you know, and I know a lot of the people who live close to that area. So it, it kind of felt like it was almost like it happened in my own home um, to an extent. But I wanted to take a second to not just um, express grief, because, and although I do feel it, I feel like a sense of longing and a love for the people that, that lost, and there were so, so many. Um, I also want to take a step to talk to you guys about how we should, res how I believe we should respond to tragedy when it happens and we lose those that we love. Um, so here are my three steps for dealing with grief in a positive way. Number one is you have to acknowledge first what's happened, acknowledge those people who have passed, um, and express love to those that were close to those who were passed. Um, in your bodies, in your minds, you can actually send love out into the world by focusing on loving feelings, thoughts towards those who have lost. So take some time. This is what I'm doing. Take some time to literally send love in the direction of those who have lost. They could use it right now. They could use that feeling. If you're a spiritual person, pray um, so that we can like just comfort those who have been afflicted in this time. Number two is ask yourself this question. What would those who have passed want for those who are still living? I believe the answer to that question is this, to live with purpose and passion towards it. So for those that have passed, what would they want for us? They would want us to live for a purpose greater than ourselves, not just to exist or survive, but to truly live in service to the world in a powerful way. So out of this, I, for my purpose, I want you to know that my purpose is to become the best version of myself and to help everyone else become the best version of themselves too. Now, what is your purpose? What are you living for? If you don't ask yourself this question consistently, I can guarantee you are not automatically going to live for some distinct purpose that is service to others. Ask yourself, what are you living for? Because those who have passed wish for you that you should live in love and service to others. And finally, number three, is take some time today and every day to acknowledge those people who love you and who you love. It's frequent that people lying on their deathbed wish for more time with their loved ones. They wish that they had spent more time acknowledging those people close to them. And so don't be the person that lives in regret. Be the person that lives with contentment and satisfaction, that consistently you acknowledged and expressed love and appreciation to those people close to you. Okay, so guys, I hope this was of service to you. If it was, share this video out so that we can together not just live in grief, but live in a position of looking forward, moving forward, um, so that we can become people that are of greater service to those that are still living today. Thank you for watching.